ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test today here on K-Check! Hello everyone! Ako po si Attorney Gat Concepcion with another season of teaching and learning here on K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition which will reveal our newest K-Check champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Having earned a daily score of 240 points, Sad is taking BSED English Language Education. He is a member of UP Tabletop, an organization in Diliman that promotes board gaming as a hobby. Coming in with a K-Check all-time high score of 380 points is Drake. This geography student likes to cook, take photos, play the ukulele, and explore random places. Next, scoring 210 points, Robe is a student filmmaker, theater collaborator, science enthusiast, and Mindanawan hailing from Surigao City. His interests include sound for film and theater, as well as performance on stage, on screen, and on the streets, and most recently, with a score of 140 points, is Hart, a nursing student from Our Lady of Fatima University who loves competing in choral groups. In her spare time, she reads, sings, and watches medical dramas. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences of UP Manila. And last but not least, multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus, who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Correct answers are 10 points each. Kaya naman, let's begin! Question number one. The NIA is a government agency tasked to develop all available water resources in the country, primarily for agriculture. What does NIA stand for? Go. National Irrigation Authority. National Irrigation Authority is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is... National Irrigation Administration. Question number two. What is the name of the smallest of the world's oceans centering approximately on the North Pole? Drake. Arctic Ocean. Arctic Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In mental math, what is the arithmetic mean of 28 and 48? Wrong. 76. 76 is wrong. Sad. Uh, 38. 38 is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Who was named Athlete of the Year by the Philippine Sports Writers Association for 2023 after being dubbed as the undisputed pole vault king in Asia? Rick. E.J. Obiena. E.J. Obiena or Ernest John Obiena is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the 2023 hit song by Taylor Swift and I Spice has a one-word title that may describe a person's actions that determine whether good or bad things will happen to them? Drake. Karma. Karma is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In 2023, what northern European country was named the world's happiest country for the sixth time by the SDSN? Drake. Denmark. Denmark is wrong. Road. Finland. Finland is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. 
If banana is saging, what is star fruit in Filipino? Heart. Kay Mito. Kay Mito is wrong. Drake. Balimbing. Balimbing is correct. Kay check. Question number eight. What term refers to a member of a feudal Japanese society of mercenary agents who are highly trained in martial arts and stealth? Bro. Samurai. Samurai is wrong. Let me proceed. And now is the nickname of MMA fighter Murilo Rua. Drake. Ronin. Ronin. Ronin is wrong. Anyone can see it between sad or heart? The correct answer is ninja. Question number nine. What word may mean a gift or the time that is now? Road. Present. Present is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What is the name of playing cards used since the 15th century and traditionally a pack of 78 with five suits is read for fortune telling? Sad. Taro. Taro is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. One of the year-end global music chart hits is Cuff It, which was recorded by which female singer of irreplaceable fame? Bro. Beyonce. Beyonce is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. In January 2024, which Filipino-American basketball player registered the first triple-double for the NBA's Utah Jazz since 2008? Rick. Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. And after that round, we have Drake in the lead with 50 points, followed by Rogue with 30 points, Sad with 20 points, and Hart with a lot of catching up to do. That's right. At this point, we really cannot tell. Right? Even if we have somebody in the lead, we cannot tell at which point or who our winner will be. Kasi marami pa tayong rounds at Correct. mas malalaki ang score sa susunod ng mga rounds. So we're midway in the competition at susunod na ang round 2 sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check! Points recap muna tayo. Drake is leading with 50 points. Followed by Rogue with 30 points, Sad with 20 points, and Hart, kaya mo pang humabol sa susunod nating round. And now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. As always, wait to be acknowledged before answering. Otherwise, you might not get any credit even if it's a correct answer. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two, and this is question number one. What name is given to the region in Northern Europe containing Norway, Sweden, and Denmark? Drake? Scandinavia. Scandinavia is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. The Philippines won the gold medal in men's basketball at the 2023 Asian Games after a 61-year drought. Which American coached the Philippine team to the gold at the 2023 Asia? Hi. Uh, Baldwin. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Tim Cohn. Question number three. What do you call the neurological disorder marked by difficulty to learn to read or spell? Especially a tendency. Yes, said. Dyslexia. A tendency to read words and letters in mixed sequences. The correct answer is dyslexia. K check. Question number four. According to US copyright law, the copyright to a character expires after 95 years from the publication of the original work. Which iconic cartoon characters? Robe. Mickey Mouse. Yes, the copyright to Mickey Mouse, which was in the original Steamboat Willie movie, entered the public domain in January 1, 2024. The answer is correct. 
paycheck. Question number five. What is the Spanish or Filipino name of the waterway used as a drainage canal in populated districts? Drake. Estero. Estero is the correct word. K okay, check. Question number six. Osiris was ruler of the underworld and god of the dead in what country's mythology? Drake. Egypt. Egypt is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number seven. What is the title of the global number three hit song for 2023 by CISA? That is also the title of a 2003 film starring Uma Thurman. Heart. Snooze. The answer is incorrect. Drake. Kill Bill. Kill Bill is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number eight. Claimed as the most popular waltz piece in history. Is what composition of Johann Strauss Jr.? I can hear it in my head. The answer is the Blue Danube. Question number nine in astronomy. What dwarf planet is the largest asteroid in the solar system and was named after the Roman goddess of agriculture? Rome. Pluto. Pluto is wrong. Drake. Ceres. Ceres is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. Which former president of the Philippines later became a member of Congress in 2010? Rome. Uh, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. This is the change in frequency of a wave produced by a moving source. Approaching sources have a higher frequency and retreating sources have a lower frequency. What do you call this effect? What is the Doppler effect? Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What do you call the Prophet Muhammad's migration from Mecca to Medina in AD 622, marking the consolidation of the first Muslim community? Good. Crusades? The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Hijra. And that's it for round two. And points, Chica, puna tayo. Drake is leading with 150 points, followed by Roe with 50 points, Sad with 40 points, and Hart, meron pa tayong isang round para makahabul ka. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K Check. Welcome back, everyone. Points recap muna tayo. Drake is leading with 150 points, followed by Robe with 50 points, Sad with 40 points, and the Heart, meron pang isang round para makahabul ka. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. Let's start the ultimate pagalingan round with a question from Prof. Marian. Which part of the flower can we find its female reproductive organ? A. Petal B. Pistil C. Receptacle D. Sepal or E. Stamen Sad. E. Stamen B. Pistol. Ang stamen yung male reproductive organ. The other parts are part of the flowers, pero ang naglalaman ng ovary at ovule ng bulaklak na stigma style at ovary or ovule, these are collectively called the pistil. Okay, check. Dr. Bernard. Okay, so this one is on gender studies. Which feminist philosopher and author of the work The Second Sex argued that 
one is not born. Simone de Beauvoir. Okay, let me finish the question. Eh? One is not born, but rather becomes a woman in exploring the construction of gender identity. That's correct. It's Simone de Beauvoir. Kate checked. Impressive. Uh, my question is, Chambre, art. What is the term for art that does not attempt to represent an, an accurate depiction of visual reality? And cap Bro, abstract art. Let me then say and explain that abstract art can be geometric, such as works of Mondrian, or more fluid like Kadinsky. So, k -shek. Prof. Marian. Metal strength is one factor considered when metal is used and strength depends on several properties. Which strength refers to the maximum amount of stress, stretching, or pulling? Road. Or. Male. Let me finish the question. Stretching or pulling, a metal can withstand before it is permanently damaged. A. Tensile strength. B. Impact strength. C. Compressive strength. D. Specific strength or E, malleability? Dad. Malleability, E. Mali. A, tensile strength. Okay, ang malleability is more of the softness of the metal. So for the strength na materials resistance to breaking under tension, this is called the tensile strength. Okay, check. Prof. Bernard. This one is from ancient philosophy. Which is the English translation of the Greek word psyche, which is thought to be the seat of thoughts, feelings, and life in general? A. Happiness. B. Soul. C. Practical wisdom. D. Habit. Or E. Ultimate principle. Greek. B. Soul. Psyche literally means soul and eventually was translated in latin as anima so it moves correct k check this art movement emphasizes the expression of imagination and subconscious free from constraints of reason Sad. surrealism surrealism is a movement aimed to challenge traditional notions of reality Personality. C. Surrealism. Okay, check. Okay, let's go to our favorite subject, mathematics. What is the diameter of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 9? A. 3. B. 6. C. 9. D. 15. Or E. 18. Walang nakasagot. Given the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9, its radius is 3. The diameter is twice the radius. So the correct answer is B, 6. Thank you very much, Prof. Bernard. Okay, this one is uh, a question on economics. What economic theory suggests that the government should play a minimal role in the economy and that free markets will efficiently allocate resources. A. Kishanism B. Mercantilism C. Lazy fair D. Protectionism or E. Socialism Sad. C. Lazy fair Lazy fair, correct. K. Check. What is the retelling of the Passion of Christ through readings and performances of the text that is widespread in the Philippines? Passion. Passion is structured as having stanzas of five lines of eight syllables each and are interwoven with a colorful dramatic theme. The answer is C. Passion. K. Check. 
We now enter the last round. Last question from me. Which is the most abundant product in our bodies? A. Albumin B. Collagen C. Hemoglobin D. Keratin or E. Myosin Alright. C. Hemoglobin Mali. B. Collagen Pag tumatanda ka na, iniisip mo na ito. This protein is a building block of skin, muscles, ligaments, and other connective tissues in the human body. It makes up 25 to 35 percent of the protein content of the body. The correct answer is B. Collagen. Rock Bernard. So this is my last question. Sobrang dali. Kayang-kayang masagot. Who authored the important philosophical work, The Republic? Drake. Plato. Sabi ko na nga, napakadali. No? So the correct answer is Plato. Okay, check. What is the German school style and artistic movement which lasted from 1919 to 1933, trying to merge all... Bro, German Expressionism. Malay. Let me finish my, my question. So, it's trying to merge all artistic mediums into one unified approach, that of combining an individual's artistry with mass production and function. So, ito yung choices natin. A, Gothic. B, Rococo. C, Art Deco. D, Bauhaus. E, German Renaissance. Rick. D, Bauhaus. Bauhaus design is often abstract, angular, and geometric with little ornamentation. More especially, importantly, functional and mass-produced. So, B, Bauhaus, K-Check. And we have a winner. This is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Greg. Our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 270 points. We'll see Drake again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Of course, thank you also to Sad, to Rope, and to Heart. Palakpakan natin sila for joining. Galeng. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Bernard, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round of K-Check! K -check.